Well, tonight, law enforcement from across the state are mourning the loss of one of their own. This is video from a procession earlier today in the Twin Cities honoring a Northland Park Ranger who died over the weekend. The members of the St. Louis County Sheriff's Office took part in the procession escorting the body of Kevin Grosheim to the medical examiner's office today. The 55-year-old Park Ranger died this weekend while rescuing a family stranded on an island at Voyagers National Park. Tonight, we're learning he was the longest serving ranger at the park. Authorities say he was experienced and knew the area well when he responded to the rescue call that ultimately took his life. Now, this happened about 11.30 Sunday morning on Nam in Lake way up at the border. Authorities say a father and his two sons were camping when they became stranded on an island and called 911. Well, conditions were brutal at the time with winds gusting more than 40 miles per hour, waves around six feet tall. The campers told authorities they weren't able to get their boat off the beach. The park rangers often work alone in remote parts of the national park. Grossheim made it to the stranded family, but while trying to tow their boat to the mainland, the ranger's boat capsized and all four people ended up in the water. While the family swam to safety, Ramsey says Grosheim did not. Eventually, crews found his body. Well, Sheriff Ramsey says park rangers and law enforcement in remote national parks become very close and rely heavily on one another. We're told Grosheim was a man of service. He was also a volunteer firefighter and paramedic. Ramsey says the news of his death is a tragedy. He had a servant's heart. He was a volunteer with the local EMS and um, very active in the community. And really was all about helping people. Mm -hmm. And ultimately, you know, he died helping people and doing what he loved. And Ramsey says this is a reminder to everyone that while it has been nice out, you should always keep an eye on conditions and always have a life jacket. You know, we have a, a veteran um, law enforcement officer who knows the water well, mm -hmm. worked a, a lot, very experienced, and the tragedy still happened. So you can't underestimate the power of, of waves and the weather when being out on the water. Park officials say all flags will be lowered at national parks through sunset October 9th in Gershheim's honor. No word just yet on funeral arrangements.